All right, what is up everyone? Welcome back to the second video of the add-on tutorial series. So in this video, we're gonna be walking through how you can actually make your pack do something and how you can actually make it add more stuff into your game. So first, we're gonna hop back into our Visual Studio Code. If you do not have this open, make sure to head to File and then click Open Folder and find your folder. So obviously ours is our custom TNT add-on. So we're gonna select, select Folder and open it up. So Last video, we created the manifest.json, which allowed us to define our pack and add it to our world. In this video, we're going to be actually creating the stuff for our add-ons. So what we're going to need is we're going to need to create a new folder called entities. So basically, what you're going to do is you're going to create a new folder and you're going to name it entities. So in this folder, we're going to actually create TNT level 2. So let's just create TNT level 2.json. So in this folder, actually, we're going to say uh, custom underscore TNT. So let's just do that. And in this file, this is, will be the basics of our custom TNT. And instead of writing about, instead of writing everything and making it just do it from scratch, we can actually use Minecraft's vanilla stuff and just edit it a little bit. So this is a very, very important thing for pack creators. This is what we all do. We're going to hop into the bedrock.dev and we're going to download the most recent pack archive so we're going to download the behavior pack it's basically what this is this is just the template packs uh given by minecraft that shows the basic vanilla uh this is the basic vanilla behavior pack basically what we're downloading so in here we're going to hop into the entities and we're going to find tnt so in we're going to look for tnt right here and simply we're going to do control a control c can, and then control V. So basically what that did is we just copied over all of the vanilla Minecraft TNT stuff into our custom TNT folder. And what we're going to do is we're going to create a custom namespace. So namespace is very important because this is what your entire pack will go by. So you do want to make sure it's a good namespace. So in my case, I'm going to do smelly. You can do whatever you want. Uh, just make sure it's a namespace that you have picked and you know that no one else will really pick. So this isn't really that important, but it does uh, matter when you're creating your pack. So we're going to just do this, and we're just going to call it smelly TNT. So we're going to save this file. I'm going to right click and press format because I like the format of my stuff. So we're just going to save the file. And what we're going to do instead of reloading Minecraft. So we already had this pack installed. Just make sure you have your pack installed still. And we're gonna press play. Okay, so once we have our world loaded, as you can see, if we do slash summon TNT, you can see we have a new TNT down here called Smelly TNT. And if we spawn it, it doesn't look like anything is here. But if we wait a few seconds, it explodes, just like a normal TNT would. So if you do summon TNT, as you can see, it's going to look like that, and then tick, and boom. But our TNT, it's going to look like nothing because we haven't added any looks to it, but it's just still going to explode like a normal TNT. So boom, we have just created and added a very own custom TNT. But let's not keep it like that. Let's do something really cool. Let's make the power like 50. And basically what this is going to do is it's going to create a nuke in our world. Oh, well, this is, don't edit that one. We're going to edit the one down here. So we're going to call, we're going to make it into power 50. And all we have to do is reload our game. I mean, reload our world. And once our world is reloaded, you can see if we summon that same smelly TNT, that's going to take a little bit, but this might be a little, there you go. So as you can see, it's a new TNT that has a 50 power instead of a four. So all I did was change this little uh, number right here next to the power, and it changed our TNT into a huge explosion instead of a small, tiny one. So it is that easy to create add-ons and create custom TNT. But the other side of add-ons is the resource pack. And the resource pack is very important because it does all the looks for the game. So in creating a resource pack, what we're gonna need to do is we're gonna hop back into our combat mojang which we discussed in the last video if you don't know what i'm doing make sure to watch the last video to get back into that so we're gonna go into our combat mojang and instead of going to the behavior packs we're gonna go to the resource packs we're gonna create a new folder called custom tnt and then we're gonna call say res so 
with this we're going to be able to open with, with code but instead of opening up two different code explorers we're just going to move this folder into our add-on so we're just going to click add folder to workspace and as you can see we now have both of our uh, behavior pack and our res pack right here so with this we're going to need the same manifest.json so we're going to do that and instead of rewriting all this we're just going to copy and paste it over and we're going to say add res to this we're going to change this to resources and we're going to generate two new uids so this is redundant what i've done in the last video if you don't know what i'm doing make sure to rewatch that but basically we're just copy and pasting these uids back into here and once we have those back into here you can see we should have a resource pack added to our game so we're actually gonna have to reload our entire game and we're gonna reload it and it will show the resource pack in our world okay once we have our game reloaded we're gonna hop back into our world and then we're gonna apply our behavior our resource pack right here so let's just apply the pack so you can see we have custom TNT add-on res and our behavior pack custom TNT add-on so we probably should rename that to behavior pack but it doesn't really matter that much so we're gonna click play and if we load into our game uh, you can probably see nothing has changed so if we do summon smelly TNT you can see there's still no texture and the problem with that is is we don't have a texture defined for our custom TNT to do that is very very simple so what we're gonna do is we're gonna hop into our resource pack and we're gonna create a folder called entities and in here in this folder uh, we're going to be able to create a folder for our TNT. So we're going to say custom underscore TNT dot JSON. And instead of obviously doing all the work, we're going to cop into this resource pack and we're going to download the resource pack off of bedrock.dev. So what we're doing is downloading the, uh, the vanilla resource pack from bedrock.dev so we don't have to do it ourselves. So once we have this loaded up, we're going to open this up and if you are wondering what I'm using, I'm using WinRAR to view this. Uh, if you're on Windows 11, you should have an automatic viewer, but WinRAR allows for Windows 10. And in here, we're going to go into Entity. Oh, I uh, meant to name this Entity, not Entities. Okay. And in here, we're going to be able to copy over uh, anything we want. So this is, oh, that is, oh, yeah, this is the resource pack. So in here, we're going to copy over the TNT. So we're going to find TNT in here. Okay. This is the TNT minecart. We're looking for the TNT entity. So it should be somewhere around here. Okay. So we're just going to copy over the TNT minecart because uh, we can't find the TNT. But simply, it's going to be the exact same thing. So we're going to copy this over and we're going to paste this into our custom TNT file and in here we're going to rename this to our namespace that which we had and don't if you remember this is the identifier is going to be exact same as the identifier up here so this identifier smelly TNT will need to be the same identifier right here once you have that loaded um, we're just going to define our pack so for our custom TNT, we're going to need a model. So we're going to need a folder called models and we're going to create a folder called textures. So this is very, very important because what we're going to be able to do is we're going to be able to open up the models folder. What we're going to do is just open uh, models. We're going to do a folder called entity and in here, we're just going to copy over the TNT model which should be somewhere around here. Okay, well, it looks like they don't have the TNT model either. So basically what we're just gonna be doing, and I'm kind of glad they don't have that because when we can now hop over into Blockbench. So if you don't know what Blockbench is, it's basically a creation studio that allows you to create models and textures super, super easily. So I already have this installed, but for you guys, you will need to install this for your device. And this is the most important use, most important thing you're going to be using for resource packs. So I'm going to open up Blockbench. Oh, actually, I do not have it installed because <laughs> this is a new PC. 
Okay, we're actually going to walk through the installation of Blockbench. Basically, you're going to click Windows, Installer. And once you have Blockbench open, okay, it's done installed. We're going to click on the full file, wait for it to open. Okay, so once you open it, it should say installing, please wait. And it should open up Blockbench. And we're going to click allow. So we give it access. And now you can see we have Blockbench open up and ready to use. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to open up our, well actually we're going to be creating a new bedrock entity. So you're going to click right here and we're going to do create new model. File name is going to be smelly TNT or actually put that as our model identifier. The file name is just going to be custom uh, TNT. So copy this exact stuff. We're going to click confirm. And in here, we're going to be able to create a custom TNT. So what we're going to be doing is we are going to resize this. Let's just make it a block long. I'm not too good with models, but I am good with behavior packs. So you can probably create a better model than I can. What I'm going to do is we're going to create a custom little TNT. And all right, that looks good. So we have our custom TNT, I think it's a block. Oh, okay, that's perfect. So you can see 16 by 16 looks like, oh, we need to do, there we go, one bigger. So there we go. You can now see our TNT model is in direct proportion to our texture. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna head over to paint and this is so, so simple. All we're gonna do is, uh, you guys probably do better, but I'm just gonna, Oh, we actually need to create a texture. So let's create a texture custom TNT and uh, all looks good. So we're going to click confirm. And now you can see we can now color our TNT. So we now have our custom TNT, which we can color. We can do a little paintbrush and let's just say custom. So hard to do this. Uh, but you guys can probably make a way better model I can custom T N T and we're gonna do a little smiley face because I like my TNT <laughs> and uh, let's do a little green let's say uh, nuke okay so there we go we have our custom TNT we're gonna do some scribbles down at the bottom so as you can see it is so so simple and now once we have this added, we're going to click the download button right here. We're going to back into our Comlot Mojang, our resource packs, our custom TNT res, textures. We're going to create a new folder called um, Entity, I think. In here, we got the custom TNT.png. We're going to press save. Then we're going to save our folder. So we're going to click export, export bedrock geometry. Then we're going to go into our custom TNT res models entity and we're going to save that file too so boom we can now close blockbench you can keep it open if you want to i'm just going to minimize it and now you can see in our resource pack we have two new files in our models folder so if we hop into here you can see entity we have our model right there inside of textures uh we are going to go into entity and as you can see, this is what the normal vanilla resource pack looks like, and ours looks like a little bit similar. So as you can see, when we load this into the world, we're actually going to need to find these packs right here. So our texture is going to be custom underscore TNT. Our geometry is going to be our geometry identifier right here. So we're going to copy that over. Then. This stuff right here doesn't really matter. Uh, we're going to leave that as default. Uh, we'll change that later. And we're going to save all these files. And we are going to restart our world. So as you can see, when we reload our world, if we do summon our smelly TNT, uh, we can still see no texture, but we can now see we have a little bit new stuff. So what we're going to do is we're going to hop back into our model and it looks like we have spelt this wrong and it's actually geometry so we're going to reload our game again 
load back in our world and it should allow us to see the geometry maybe not so uh, content logs very important because it allows us to see what's wrong uh, we do need to update our geometry file that's the problem okay so what we're gonna need to do is instead of our identifier being smelly like this we're gonna need to put smelly underscore TNT and now we can summon our TNT and as you can see our texture looks exactly like the texture we created and boom there we go we've created a custom TNT for our Minecraft worlds and add-ons so this is the second part of the tutorial series and I will see you guys in the third part of the tutorial series where we actually get in depth and make an animation controllers animations and making everything look so 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 good so I'll see you guys in the next video peace out